video on Connor Murphy. We've been following Connor Murphy for a while, uh, ever since he had, he started talking about enlightenment. This was months and months ago, probably at the beginning of the year, or maybe even late last year, that we were talking about him. And Connor made a decision. For context, he's a former bodybuilder, had 2.8 million subscribers on YouTube doing like prank videos, talking to girls, ripping his shirt off, you know, just kind of these gimmicks. Is this a hitchhiker on the side of the road? Is this, is this an old guy on the side of the road? Should I pick him up? Is that the move? I think the move is to pick up this guy on the side of the road. I think that's the move. Is it? Do you think it's the move? I think it might be the move. I see him climbing over a barrier of some sort right now. I'm, I'm maybe I'm gonna, I should ask him if he needs a ride. Maybe I should just ask him. What do you think? What do you guys think? I was trying to make a video here, but I, I had a, uh, I saw a man. I saw an old man with a suitcase. And I said, perhaps he does need a ride. So we will ask him. We will ask him if he needs a ride. And we'll see what he says. Maybe he'll say no. And I gotta hold it landscape. How far am I off the road? Am I going to get hit by a car when I open my door? That wouldn't be fun. This uh, would be better as a live stream, wouldn't it? We'll see. We'll see what he says. Proceed to the route. Proceed to the route. Hi there. Do you need a ride? If you want to come, you can come get a ride. If you want me to, sure. Okay. I probably don't need much. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going to Denver. Really? Yeah, where are you going? I'm going to the Philippines. I got Philippines. a wife in the Philippines. And uh, are you flying there? What? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Canoe. I don't know if you take a, a boat or a plane, but uh, where? What airport are you headed to? Denver. Denver Airport. Okay, we can make it. It's two hours. I love you, man. Yeah, can man. You drop me off in Cheyenne. I can drop you off in Cheyenne. Great. If that's what you need me to do, I'm happy to do it. I'm headed there anyway, so okay. I said this guy looks like he. You might like a ride. 67. 67. John Wayne. That's your name, John Wayne? It's a good name. Well, I... Uh, my father's name. Really? John Wayne the second? Yeah, do you know Mormons? I know Mormons. I was just in Utah. Uh, my grandfather was a bishop in Alberta. Okay. Let me... Let me move some things out of the way here so you can pick your stuff in. matter either way I was just I have a YouTube channel and I was recording a YouTube video do you mind if I do like an interview with you or anything like that uh, the, I'm sort of outlaw you don't have to give your name or anything no one has to know who you are or where we are okay just conversation okay that's it 
I can introduce you to my uh, second to the youngest son. Oh, yeah? On a scale of 1 to 10, he's a 10. Really? Yep. You ever met a guy that's a 10? I don't think I have. Usually you get up to 9 and you stop there. He's married to a half Filipino woman named Melanie. Is he? And he's a for sure 10. Sure. Well, I love to hear about it. Sometimes I got a very boring drive ahead of me here. And uh, we might be able to. You want this? If, it, you want this? Either way, it doesn't matter to me. It's uh, full of loot. Yeah, we'll see. We'll it's see. Pull off of somebody's vacation outfit. I might. We might see about it. But All if right. you're, it, can you fit in there? Or you want me to stick that no, in the I trunk? Can fit. I can fit. All right. As long as you're comfortable, we can, can always fit. stop. I'm gonna have to get gas soon enough anyway. All, All right, right, we're here. Virginia. Virginia and we're, we're doing a road trip <laughs> and we're getting uh, we're meeting people and uh, I was just uh, I was just talking about you know people in the news crazy people doing crazy things and how if you're a celebrity and you start acting crazy everyone cares about that but if you're just a normal person then they could care less and I thought that was kind of funny well, my family cares because I act a little crazy. Yeah, well, everybody's a little... In 1.1 miles, take exit 323 onto Wyoming Highway uh, 210 toward Happy Jack Road. Uh, I'm good for Cheyenne, though. Yeah, Cheyenne. Yeah. Well, it's pretty much a straight shot from here. Yeah, I know. I've been over and over this road. I've lived... I'll tell you something you don't know. Tell me about it. Vita Vu. What is Vita Vu? You'll see it on the sign here in three, four miles. Okay. It's like Yellowstone Park, only it's not sure. Yellowstone. I'll show you. All right, well. I, I'll tell you something else you can discover by going to Vita Vu. Mm -hmm. Indians came up there for 500 years and hunted during the summer. You know how I can tell? Definitely. They made holes in the top of the granite rocks to catch water. Save 21 oh, minutes I, I via 10th Street. I think I've seen them, but I didn't know what they were. I didn't know who put them there. They beat them in with a granite. <laughs> they make kettles out of granite rocks. Granite rocks. Use the right lane to take exit 323 onto Wyoming Highway 210 toward Happy Jack Road. Ah, all right, well. For 37 miles, continue straight. Um, if you take Happy Jack Road, we can take a, a one-minute look at uh, Granite Mountain if you want. If you don't want, we won't. Um, it's right here. It's right here. All right, let's take a look. All right. It's uh, it's as good as Yellowstone Park. Honest really? engine. If you're a dirt biker, and I've been a dirt biker for 50 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we'll check it out. I'm always up to see some, some nature. Uh, this is uh, profound nature. It's not normal nature. This is normal nature right, right. here. This is profound. It's called Vidavu. The Indians named it mm. Vidavu. It's funny because the last time I drove through Utah, people told me... Go, go right here. Take a right. And people told me, oh, you know... Yeah, there's Lincoln Monument. Mm -hmm. You see that, but I'll show you Vita Vu. We'll, ta we'll take a look at Vita Vu. Yeah, you're going um, to see it in five minutes. Proceed right. to the route. Yep. The, uh, the, they told me there's two ways to get from Utah to Colorado. You can see you can go up through Wyoming or you can go straight... Proceed to the route. Utah to, to Colorado and people told me you've got to basically uh, you got to go through Utah straight to Colorado Don't in 6.5 miles boring. turn left onto so Vidal Google Wyoming to be more interesting to oh. be honest yeah if you had some if mountains you and get a look but... at Vitavu it's really more interesting mm. it's a strange name Vitavu it is it sticks in your memory yeah you're gonna see it here Reminds me of uh, uh, voodoo video yeah. and uh, Weenie, what is it, Wenny Weenie Weechi. People in Cheyenne and uh, Laramie come here mm. over and over again during the summer. This is it right over yeah. here on the left. Let's, let's take Look. it slow. Take yeah. a look at it. At this mountain range here. No, it's not the mountain range. 
which is the granite rocks. Granite rocks. Yep, you'll see in a minute. Do you know what the granite rocks are? Should I should I get up in here? Or no, no, keep no, going? no. We can I uh, we can get really close to the granite rocks mm -hmm. in in eight minutes. We'll be looking at the granite rocks. Okay, sounds good to me. Now, is this up here? Is that a grain silo, or what do they put inside? Ah, uh, that's uh, road work. They road work. machinery for road work, snow. Mm -hmm. Now that's the granite rocks. Is Who in the hell started a fire? Looks like a forest fire is going on. You, can you see the granite? I can see some granite. Granite rocks over there. Indians name them. Vidabu. Sounds like an Indian name. They've got uh, uh, hot springs oh. down there at, in a small Wyoming town. And, and it's really popular. Really popular. I've and it's, never been to hot springs before. Anyway, let's look at Vidabu first. Before it starts raining, look at those dark clouds. Uh, it rains every day, and that's, that's, that's not it. a serious rain. That's a 10-minute shower. Oh, good. Because when I was in California, if you saw clouds like that, it would be the end of the world. The last four days, I was in yeah. the mountains on the mountaintops. Mm -hmm. They ran me off. They said I started too many forest fires. Really? <laughs> I don't think I've ever started a forest fire. But I didn't I know start that. any forest fires either, but the sheriff in Laramie was talking. Mm. Yeah, well, I th they need to work on their fire management sometimes. Uh, what, what is your uh, back like this? I got them back because I have back problems. My tailbone is loose, and so if I sit on it, it, it gets shoved back up in me, it wiggles around. Oh, and it, shit. So I, I have to sit in interesting ways. Okay. Uh, but you know, I've I've found different techniques. That's a tourist causing trouble. That's what that is. Mm. That fire's spread. Holy cow! That's all along the face of the mountain. Wow. Yeah, you can smell it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, now you're starting to see the granite. Now you're starting to see it, and you can drive up close and personal in five minutes. Mm. If you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. This is a nice car. Yeah, I'm not in a particular rush, to be honest. Well, you'll, uh, you won't believe what you see. You go over there. You now, this it. fencing, is that for cattle? Uh, it's to keep the game off of the road. So elk and moose do not get killed by cars. Uh, and so I don't get killed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Moose will kill you. Yeah. yeah, but you hit a moose and it comes through your windshield, it's a thousand pounds, you know. Yeah, I don't want to, that's a small car, I don't want to hit that. It's a nice um, car, it's on, isn't it? Yeah, this, uh, it's getting beat up here, but we're making the most of it. V6 or four cylinder? I actually couldn't tell you, to be honest, and well, I've been... Open the hood for a second, I can't. Yeah, well... I, okay, I, I, okay, now here's what's going to happen. What's going to happen? You're going to have a left turn yeah. pretty quick, yeah. and it says, go over here if you want to see Beetleboo. Okay. All right, I'll look for the sign. Yeah, you'll see it pretty quick. It's been a mile or two. Hopefully this fire doesn't get too out of control No, over it's here. not. It's blowing away from Beetleboo. Okay. And uh, I've been in the mountains. It's damp. Yeah. It's the next, it's the next time we pass. Okie doke. I've been here for two months. Two months. And I just spent the uh, last four days living on the mountains with no tent. No tent, living on the mountain. Did you get rained on? Every day. Every day you get rained on. Does it rain in the day or the night? Uh, it, rains in, uh, it rains towards afternoon, early afternoon. Afternoon. Now look at the granite mountains. Now look at it. We're getting closer. Look, yeah. See that there's the next underpass right up there. The green sign okay. that says Vita Vu. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's as good as Yellowstone Park, I promise. You haven't been to Yellowstone Park? I have not. You know, I was thinking about it. This is better. This better? Is better. Well, they don't advertise this one. Well, I'm advertising. You know what these are? What are those snow over Snow fences. You keep the snow green. In two miles, huh. turn left onto Vedal uh, Glen Road. Let me uh, go ahead, make sure no time. one's behind me. There we go. Make sure that doesn't die on me. Now... 
Yeah, now we're getting. Now right you can see granite mountains. Yep, yeah, right next to the. You know what those rocks are made out of? Granite. granite. You know where granite is made? Down deep in the earth, and it was raised up during the Rocky Mountain buildup. <laughs> they, they, they poked out. Interesting. Wow. Oh, it's it's a spectacular Wyoming uh, rock climbing. You can make some countertops. Well, people have been. It's uh, very Indian, very Indian. People that have got half Indian blood, they know about Peter. There it is, Peter Vu Road. Yep. One mile. Yep. So, uh, on the map, do you find little overhangs to go under when it rains to find shelter from the rain? Or do you use trees or... Tarps. Tarps. I, I got a good tarp I got for free. Okay. It's buried in a hole <laughs> on top of the map. Maybe someone else can use it while you're gone. Oh, well, they want it. Here comes, here comes. Okay. Look, now look, now look. Yep. It's real granite. It's coming into Everywhere. You. That's amazing. I'm a geologist, and I can tell you granite sitting on top of a mountain is amazing. Wow. Yeah, that is quite something, the way it, yep. the texture of it, the shape of it, it, it looks very organic. Yeah, well, oh, it's nature. It's raw it. Oh, well, look, you're going to, I got my hands full of shit. Turn left onto Vedal, Blue Glen Road. Crazy. Then turn right toward Cheyenne. This one here? Yeah, this is it. Ames Monument. Some rich guys 200 years ago built <laughs> stupid Ames Monument. God made Vitavu. Well, I think I'll check out Vitavu. Yeah, it's way, well, it's 100 times better Ames Monument. Turn right toward Cheyenne. Guy building a railroad, built it in a graveyard. Yeah. Jeez. All Th right. This is God. Proceed to the route. I the just head straight. Boy. Proceed to the route. Yeah. Proceed to the route. It's, uh, Entering National Forest land. Yeah. Proceed to the route. Now look. Now look. Let's see here. We've got. Proceed to the route. Information. Free map. Camping permitted. Yeah. And. Uh, and that's the road to Black. Line. Proceed to the route. I'll just step out for a moment and maybe yeah. get some footage of Good. some yeah. of these. Let people see what. stuff. Yeah. You think it's cool? You get up close to these rocks. Well, I saw that I saw that fence and I saw that sign and it said there was some unexploded ordnance, so I'll 